One of the factors of 3x squared minus 16x plus k is x minus 7. Determine the value of k. One way to do this is to plug in negative 35 into k, or negative 9 and 5 and 63, and try factoring. When After factoring, uh, if we can see x minus 7 hanging around as one of the factors, we found our answer. Now there is a faster way. When we know that the fact one of the factors is x minus 7, what does this mean? It means that some uh, function, we have a nice polynomial function, that the root is going to be the opposite of negative 7, which is positive 7. So if this is 0, and we have a 7 here, because one of the factors is x minus 7, you take the opposite sign, instead of negative 7, you have a positive 7, as definitely the y value is going to be 0, and the, the function is going to be cutting through this nice line here. So somehow, we're not exactly sure what the function looks like, but it's definitely going to hit over here, where y is 0. So what we're going to do is we're going to write y is equals to 3x squared minus 16x plus k. And we know the y value is 0. So the y value is 0, particularly here, because it says x minus 7. So here, when x equals 7, so we're just going to set x to 7, we can solve for k. That's k there. Using our calculator, we have 3 times 7 squared, which is 49, is equals to 147. So this here is 147. I'm going to put it over the equal signs to make it negative 147. And then we have negative 16 times 7 is equal to this here is negative 112, so when I put it over, it's going to be positive 112 is equal to k. So let me rewrite this here. So negative 147 plus 112 is equal to negative 35. So we have negative 35 is equal to k. So we determine the value of k, which is negative 35, which is choice A.